In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the partial text color within a cell. Let's get started. I have some data set here uh, that contains uh, serial number, full name, login ID, account status. And account status, some of them are active and some of them are disabled. So my requirement is to display uh, the, if it is active, then only the first letter should be the green. And if it is a disabled, only the first letter should be the uh, red color with the bold formatting. And I want to use the same status if I am using the upward arrow key and downward arrow key. So this is how um, we wanted to implement. But if you use a standard font color option, it is going to change it to the entire text. So, but our requirement is different. Our requirement is to change only the, the first letter. So for, to achieve this, we are going to use the macro. Press Alt F11 in our keyboard. Then uh, uh, it will insert the, uh, it will open the Microsoft Visual Basic uh, Application Editor. So here we need to create a macro. So the macro will start with uh, sub and then macro name gives some meaningful name. So change uh, partial text color underscore macro underscore uh, green and then press enter key and um, uh, then you'll get automatically end sub is automatically populated so you can just give some mean, uh, some uh, comment uh, this macro will change the first letter of the text or first character first character uh, uh, of the text within a cell so I'm going to use a function called uh, with selection dot uh, characters. Then the starting length equal to the starting length equal to one, and then the starting position equal to one, and the length uh, the number of characters equal to one. And for this is for font. Then I want a green color, so I'm going to use the uh, green color. So the attribute is uh, dot color equal to and RGB red green blue and for it's a green and uh, 0 comma 128 comma 0 and we also need the bold so dot bold equal to true and press enter key and uh, if you need any formatting like underline italic and you can do whatever you want but our requirement is to green color with bold option then end with so once your macro is uh, open uh, just to, I'm going to resize this window so here place I'm going to place the cursor at where I want the green then press the uh, run command and if you can choose a multiple cells holding the control key then choose and run the macro and the same thing you need to you want to do with the uh, red color for disabled so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the whole thing then paste so instead of green here th this this name can be anything okay but always give the meaningful name and this is a red color and the red is a 255 the first parameter and then the green is a zero then select the disabled then run the macro so now you can see the first letter is going to show you as um, uh, a as the green and d as the this you can apply the same formula for any of the text so what are the text let's say for example for an entire login ids and the first letter you wanted to show as a red color so if you run this then it will be the red color and you place the cursor within this macro and then run and that will be the green color so the same thing and i want to use um, uh, for upward arrow and downward arrow so you can choose uh, for active control key and then select then choose um, run and you can sort the data and then you can also uh, you can also run uh, using the sorting the data 
so i have another table in that in this uh, example so select the data then click on data tab sort data so i'm going to click the sort option based on uh, active status account status then okay so now you can see all account uh, are um, showing as so select the active then come to the green option then run then choose the disabled then come to the red option place the cursor in the right and this macro that run so now you no need to save this file as macro enabled file so you can when you close your session then uh, you can say for example save it's going to ask you whether you want to save this as a macro free or macro enabled so I, this is only one time probably i don't need that macro to save then click on uh, uh, yes then the macro uh, will not save so when you close the file then next time it will not it will not save thank you for watching this video